Uh, Woking now has something like 10% of total UK installed photovoltaics. It, it also had the first fuel cell CHP system in the UK, as well as its private wire networks. And um, that's quite a significant achievement for any town or city, let alone somewhere the size of Woking. And uh, Woking achieved 10% of solar energy photovoltaics in three years. That's, you know, from nothing. We recognised towards the end of the 90s that in order to take this further, we were restricted like other local authorities by central government capital controls. And so we needed to find a way of bringing in the private sector so that we could show them how this environmental technology could be commercialised. And we, and we achieved that with a Danish partner. And as you probably know, Denmark has 50% of its... Uh, electricity supplies comes from CHP, combined heat and power. Well, we use a lot of biomass uh, at the Unit 2 out here. About 50% of the fuels uh, is biomass. The largest part is uh, wood pellets. Uh, it's produced from uh, the, the chips from uh, the manufacturing of uh, hard floors. And uh, we take in about 85 tons of wood, uh, wood dust, which we blow into the boiler per hour. And uh, the other biofuel that we use out here is straw, uh, large straw bales uh, coming in from the Danish farmers. They are not allowed to burn it in the fields. We have a policy in Denmark that the, the, the straw should be put into the power stations instead of being burned in the fields. So we take in about 25 tons of straw per hour into a separate boiler which can turn it into heat and electricity. Biomass is CO2 neutral fuel. And the output is, uh, is electricity and then district heating for about 200,000 homes in the Copenhagen area. In total, half a million households are connected to the district heating system of Copenhagen. And we send it out over a distance of 35 kilometers away from here. We could even send it longer. In Denmark, we have always uh, had to import the fuels, the fossil fuels. We don't have any coals. Well, we have oil today, but for many years we had to import it as well. So uh, we have uh, gotten used to focus on efficiency, to get as much energy out of the fuels as possible. And uh, we've become quite good at that in Denmark. And, and actually this power station holds a world record within efficiency, getting as much energy from the fuels as possible. And we can utilize 95% of the energy when we're producing heat and electricity at the same time. That's a world record.